What's up? It's Evan Turner from the Philadelphia 76ers, and you're tuned in to JR Sports Free. So it's Fan Friday. It's all about you all and your comments. If you didn't see Hans Ward on the Sport Brief yesterday, go ahead and check that out. We also spoke about Colin Kaepernick and Cam Newton. Who would you choose? And then also, earlier this week, I dropped you with some JR wisdom. Uh, don't show your ass like Anthony Davis. And also... I'm going to be at ESPN next week. I'm going to be back. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be hanging out with the Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to be hanging out with Olympic ski jumpers. And then Curtis Blow, there's going to be a video with that dude coming soon. I hope you know who Curtis Blow is. Uh, basketball is his favorite sport. That's a little hint for some people who may not know. But first of all, happy birthday to Edwin Tawaya. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I hope you have a great 16th birthday. When you turn 18 or 21, I'll probably get you involved in some illegal stuff. We can do illegal activities together. And Jacob Kutcher from Vieira, Florida, in the Vieira High School, he is today's JR All-Star. Uh, this guy is either hitting guys, knocking them out cold, or he is grabbing interceptions. So a big shout outs to him. All the best to him and his future successes. But the first question for Fan Friday comes in via the Fanimal on Twitter. Do the Chiefs have a legit chance to finish 16-0 this season? Well, listen, man, anytime you step out onto that field, you have an opportunity to win. Uh, look, DeAndre Jordan one day could probably shoot higher than 40% from the free throw line, but it's probably not going to happen. And that's the same thing when you think about the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to face the Broncos. I think they actually faced them twice. And it's not a matter of whether or not they go undefeated. It's whether or not they can actually make some noise in the playoffs. We know they're going to go. I think they're going to make some noise, but it all depends on whether or not you can really depend on Alex Smith to make a big play. And Dwayne Bowe, you know, going out smoking a little weed, getting a little drunk, getting into some interesting things, it's not necessarily going to help their cause. I don't think they're going to go undefeated. I think they're going to make some noise in the playoffs, though, but I would probably still take the Broncos ahead of them. The next question for Fan Friday comes in via promiscuous protester on Twitter. Are we going to ignore Dwight Howard was held to seven points on one for five shooting by Andrea Bargnani? And I don't know who the hell ignored that. I mean, Dwight Howard was slaughtered yesterday on television by Charles Barkley and Shaq. He was slaughtered by everybody on the Internet. He's slaughtered by radio. We know he's probably the best center in the NBA. We know about his defense. We know he can go out there and grab rebounds and block shots. But when it comes down to his offense, quite frankly, it stinks. There hasn't necessarily been a real improvement over the past few years. And people nitpick and beat up on this guy. Personally, I've been around him. He's not my damn best friend, but I think he's a pretty damn cool guy. He's a real nice guy. But on a basketball court, yeah, we haven't seen too much out of him. I don't think anybody ignores it. I think he's stunted a little bit on the offensive end, but I wouldn't go ahead and call this guy complete trash. I don't know if we can even say that he's maxed out on his potential. Uh, he's probably the only one who actually knows it. He doesn't have touch like someone like Shaquille O'Neal. He doesn't have finesse and movement like Akeem Olajuwon. Let Dwight Howard be Dwight Howard. Although I must admit as well, it'd be nice to see him be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end, but he is definitely not trash. Moving on to the next question. It comes in via Raynell Rodriguez on Facebook. Will Cano stay with the Yankees? I'm guessing if the price is right, Robinson Cano will stay. I think the Yankees will ante up. and ain't going to be no $300 million. I think that's what he initially asked for, but I think he sticks around in the boogie down Bronx. He was actually at that Knicks game last night. He needs to get his ass up off the front row and actually go and sign a contract to stick around. Next question from Diego Yamarillo on Facebook. Can the Pacers win it all this year? They're 8-0. and Paul George is balling out of his mind. He's like... 27 points, uh, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. Lance Stevenson is finally coming to his own. He's about 15, 6, and 6. You still have Roy Hibbert. They're playing the best defense in the NBA right now. They're allowing the least amount of points, and I think they can definitely win an NBA title if they keep this up. It's also going to be interesting to see if Danny Granger can come back and compete. Pull him up off the bench and make him be a sixth man because they are clicking on all cylinders right now. This is Jay are. It's Fan Friday. It's all about you all in your comments. Stay tuned. It's much warm out here in New York. Even though it's November, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. You do as well. Come back on Sunday for some JR Wisdom. I'll talk to you guys. Peace. <laughs>